Hey there Seahawks, it's Miss Adams and in this video we're going to learn how to do normal distributions uh, for finding the values from areas. Alright, so we're going to be using the inverse norm function in your calculators. To get there you're going to do second bars, which is the distribution menu, and then go to inverse norm. You're going to put in your area, your mean, and your standard deviation and choose pace. If your calculator has a newer operating system on it, it will give you the option of left, center, or right. If your calculator doesn't have that option, it's always going to be finding the area to the left. Um, when you're showing your work, you're going to draw your normal distribution, label and scale it, then you're going to shade in the area that corresponds to the question, and your unknown boundary um, is going to be clearly marked. You put like a question mark. You have the option to use table A, which is that Z table, um, or technology. If you're using technology, make sure you label um, all the parts. All right, so finding the value that corresponds to a percentile in a normal distribution. The distribution of ITBS vocabulary scores among all Gary, Indiana 7th graders is approximately normal with a mean of 6.84 and a standard deviation of 1.55. What score would a student have to earn to be at the 90th percentile of the distribution? So the 90th percentile means they did better than 90% of the people or 90% did below them below their score. So if you're using the table, you're looking inside the middle part of the table for the uh, percentage that is closest to 90% or 0 0.90. The closest one is 0 0.8997. And then if you go up and over, you can see what z-score that matches up with, which is a z-score of 1.28. So now that I know the z-score and I know the mean and the standard deviation, I'm going to solve for my unknown value, which is x. I'm going to use some algebra, multiply by 1.55 on both sides, add 6.84 on both sides, and we get 8.824 is equal to x. So a 7th grader from Gary, Indiana would need a score of 8.824 to be at the 90th percentile. All right. And recall from the 2.5 notes, the distribution of Roger Federer's first serve speeds at the Wimbledon Championship averaged 115 miles per hour. Suppose that the distribution of first serve speeds is approximately normal with a standard deviation of 4 miles per hour. How fast was a serve if it was, a, if it was one of the fastest 10% of Federer serves? All right, so I'm going to draw my normal distribution and label it. Uh, I want to be in the top, fifth, or the top 10% of serves, so the area would be 0 0.10. I'm shading the top. The fastest ones will be higher uh, miles per hour. I don't know the value where it starts at, so I'm labeling that with a question mark. Um, in my calculator, I'm going to do an inverse norm. My area would be 0.1, my mean would be 115, my standard deviation 4, and my tail would be right. If you don't have the option for left, right, center for tail, then your calculator is automatically doing the left tail. If that's the case, then you would be finding the area on the uh, left side, which would be 90%, and it's still going to give you that cutoff mark. So your area would be 0.9, and it would be a left tail. All right, when you put this in, you get 120.13. So a serve must be 120.13 miles per hour or more to be one of the fastest 10% of Federer serves. All right. Finding the mean and standard deviation from percentiles. Every morning, Joe drives his favorite coffee shop to get an iced caramel macchiato. Although he leaves at the same time every morning, the time it takes to drive to the shop is approximately normal with a standard deviation of 1.6 minutes. The shortest 10% of Joe's drives take 10.15 minutes or less. Um, what is the average time it takes Joe to get a cup of Joe? Huh. Alright, so normal distribution. We don't know the mean. We know that the shortest 10% of drives go to 10.15 minutes. Um, so I have area, mean, standard deviation. I'm going to find the z-score. Um, because I don't know the mean and the standard deviation, I'm going to use the standardized, which is a mean of 0, standard deviation of 1, always for z-scores. So the area is 0.1. Uh, that gives me a z-score of negative 1.28. So I know that this um, on standardized has to have a z-score of negative 1.28. Um, I don't know the mean, but I know that the x value is 1.15 and the standard deviation is 1.6. 1. 
So now I'm going to do some algebra to try to solve and get uh, mu, the mean, by itself. All right, so I get negative mu equals negative 12.198. I want positive mu, so I just change the sign of everything. Um, the average time it takes Joe to get his coffee is about 12.2 minutes. All right, go Seahawks.